Justin Foster among nine Wabanzi wrestlers being recognized for an early senior night, but once the lights dim, the Warriors ready for South Elgin. Mason Cronin gets dubbed via win with his performance at 170 pounds versus Spencer Fear. This takedown in the second period puts him up 4-0 and route to a 9-2 decision. Warrior Josh Mondesir looks good at 220 pounds versus the Storm's John Alfro. He gets both shoulders down for fall at 105 in the first period. Bonzi up 15-3 as a team. After Tyler Caldwell grabs a decision at 285 for Bonzi, South Elgin gets a much-needed win at 106. Izzy Villarreal gets the fall on Luis Trevino in the second period. Storm still down 18-9. But the Warriors don't make losing a trend. At 113, Bonzi's Chris Tuxai gets taken down by Bobby Tornabine. Match tied at 5, but Tuxai responds in the third period with a pin at 440. The Wobonzi winning continues at 120. Foster tries to get both of Mike Lombardo's shoulders down, but he settles for three near fall points on his way to a major decision. In the 145-pound match, South Elgin's Nikhil Willoughby is working against both Camp Barnhart and the clock, but he's able to grab the pin just before the first period ends. That's the final storm win of the night. Evan Cool takes care of business for Bonzi at 152 versus Chemo Staggers. The pin comes at 110 in the first. John Rogers wraps things up with a decision at 160 as Wabonzi dominates. Over the past couple of weeks, the team has really picked up its pace. Uh, at first, when we started off, we didn't do too well. Uh, but over the past few weeks of practice, we've really worked really hard, and uh, we've definitely picked up the pace. I felt we did actually really good in everything. We, we put a good effort, and I believe we tried our hardest.